Hey guys, this is Gloria. So I am here because tonight is the deadline to close the Tilda Doll Swap. So if you have not already given me your information, um, please do so by tonight because tomorrow I will be picking the partners for the swap. Um, I did want to give out the names of the people that are already in the swap. And the reason is because um, just in case you did want to sign up and you um, and I didn't get your PM or something like that. I want to make sure that everyone has a chance to sign up. So I'm going to call out the names that I already have. And if you don't hear your name and you know that you sent me a PM, please send it again so that I'll have it and I can put you in the swap. So for right now, for the Tilda Doll swap, we have the Passion for Craft, which is Irina. We have Lori, I'm sorry, Laura Steinert, who is Laura. Love Stamp 07, who is Lisa. Black Heart Primes, who is Kelly and Poet Spice with Jamie. Um, for the Tilda Room Decor Swap, we have Marilyn G, who is Marilyn, Amadoros, who is Amador, Hope Chess Bride, who is Lisa, and Lisey46, who is Elise. So those are the names that I have so far. And like I said, if you guys have sent me a PM and maybe I just didn't get it, please let me know. But I know from these names that we have on the list, I think this is gonna be an awesome, awesome swap because I know that these people are awesome crafters. So this is gonna be a lot of fun for our, our first swap. Um, so yeah, um, if you did not sign up already and you want to sign up, please send me a PM. Within the PM, I need for you to send me your snail mail address. I also need to have your, um, your email address or I can send you your information through private message, it's up to you. Um, I need to know if, you know, what, what, what your color preference is because in Tilda there's pinks, there's reds, there's blues, there's greens. So I need to know what your preference is so that your partner can maybe do something to your preference. Um, for the doll swap people, remember that if you are not using Tilda fabric, you do have to use the Tilda doll pattern. Um, if you need the pattern, please PM me and I will send that over to you guys um, in an email. Um, Irina, I did send it to you today, so I'm hoping that you did receive it. If not, please let me know if you did not receive it. Um, it is going to be the, the larger doll, guys. So um, if you don't have that pattern, just let me know and I'll send it to you in an email because I do have it scanned in. Um, you don't have to use the Tilda fabric for it, but you do have to use the Tilda pattern. Um, but And your fabric has to be very shabby chic. It has to look like Tilda material. And I, I showed you guys examples of the material that I've just purchased recently from the Fat Quarter Shop. That's very shabby chic and very Tilda-like. So if you guys can find some that's Tilda-like, please use that. Um, Walmart has some really, really nice um, fabric that you can use. So just um, do your best and try to find um, some material that's... Um, very close to you know the tilde material if you guys remember um i made some dress forms and this is using that material from um walmart it's very tilde like so if you guys you know um want to use that that's perfectly fine um i know I, there's a few people that are using you know other alternative material which is going to be fine um the decor swap people you have to use tilde um paper but you can make any kind of um, room decor. Um, that could be, you know, altering a can. Like um, Laura and um, Elise did these beautiful cans. And they're just recycled cans, but they're beautiful because they put the tilde paper on there. So you guys know what to do. Um, if you don't, please PM me and I'll um, try to make it as clear as possible for you guys. Um, the other thing that I want to share with you guys um, are these buttons that I created. And um, these are all fabric buttons, tilde buttons. And they have the metal shanks on the back. And these are now in my shop on exhibit. Make it cutesy. Um, this is the larger size, which is the 22 millimeter. Um, and then I do have, I believe this is the 18 millimeter. And this is the smallest one here, which is the... I think this is a 15 millimeter. So just in case you're wondering um, the differences in the size. 
So that is the differences in the size and they do come in different sizes. Um, all of the listings say the same exact thing. The only difference is the actual picture. So when you go to the site, please look at the picture because the picture is going to show you what you're going to get. Um, I thought it was just easier to do it that way because there was 15 different sets that I needed to um, upload today. So I just kind of did it the easy way out. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll get back with you as soon as possible. And I cannot wait to see everyone's creations. Take care, guys. Bye.